This is Nelson, a marketing director from Seattle who uses cooking to serve up what's in his heart. Hi. Good evening. How are you? And your name is? Nelson. Nelson. I definitely think that I, to some certain extent, I, I work out so that I can eat more. Cooking and eating food together is a sign of love. That's also the way I give, and that's also a way I love to, to show love. Is marriage something that you've considered? Marriage? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah? At the right time. I was that former fat kid. With that, I didn't really have the attention from girls, and I really didn't feel like confident talking to women. I'd have to say, like, I keep that close to my chest. Also from Seattle, Nelson's date is Stephanie, a video game producer with a competitive streak. I used to compete in German opera and Italian opera. <laughs> I haven't done that in a long time. <laughs> I, think I think I just saw her walk through, actually. Yeah. And walk by. What do you think? I'm not going to check her out. Do you know what you're going to say? No idea. All right, well, think fast. <laughs> Hi. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Nelson, by the way. Nelson? Yes. Pleasure. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, thank you. What are you drinking? I'm drinking a peanut grigio. That's so classic. <laughs> <laughs> it's just something simple. I'm gonna go off menu. Do you do egg whites at all? Is that the thing? I can make that happen for you. It's a good okay. idea. May I have a whiskey sour with an egg white served up? Sir. Is that possible? Thank you. It's great. Not to get all crazy. I think dating is exhausting. So exhausting. It's emotionally exhausting, and you have to really like prepare yourself every time. Thank you so much. I think that's why I am picky. I don't date just to date. I hate, like, dating in itself. I went to the University of Washington and I uh, got a scholarship to study abroad in China. Okay, so, did you go to Beijing? <laughs> Absolutely. Like, okay. Yeah. Are you half Chinese? I'm a little less than half. My mom's three quarters. Now, did you did you grow up speaking Mandarin? Okay, so it's a little bit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> do you cook yourself? Yes. Yeah, so do I. A lot. One thing I really love making, thank you, is I make my own uh, black hot kazuzuke. So do I. No what way. What the heck? No okay, hold on. It's so funny. You make your own miso black hot? Okay, yes. let's talk about that. Are you using the mirin? Like, are you using the. Yes, okay, I that's use a secret foods. for sure. This makes me sound stuck up, but like, I want someone that holds my interest. Do you simmer it down and reduce it? I've done that before. To burn it's... off the alcohol? No. There are just a lot of like nice guys that, oh, it's, you know, it'd be nice if we were friends, <laughs> but it's not exciting. <laughs> yeah. Where'd you go to high school? King's High School? I have friends who went there. Peter Kim. And Kevin brother. Kim? Yeah. Oh, okay, whoa, my we gotta gosh. talk about this. Whoa. Peter is my housemate or my roommate. No yes. way. Yeah, that's crazy. Seriously. No way. Seriously. I went to elementary school that's with crazy. your roommate. Yeah. How funny is that? Kind of mind blown right now. Yeah. Being Asian American is like quintessentially passive aggressive. Here are the list of subjects that we can talk about, yeah. and uh, here are the list of subjects we don't but talk about. But the crazy about. about thing too is like even that list of subjects, oftentimes you don't even know what that is. It doesn't get brought up. I think growing up in the Asian culture, especially as a guy, you're definitely taught to, to keep emotions inside. That makes sense maybe in old times, but in dating, especially in America, like that's, that's, that's not gonna work. You don't talk about money, you don't talk about sex, it's just not right. So why single? Why, how, how do you feel about that? Like, you have to be asked out like all the time. I mean, you probably work around a lot of guys too. I don't give a lot of people the chance sometimes, but how about you? Uh, last relationship was about two and a half years ago. I just went through it, you know, and I went through the heartbreak and I went through um, the pain of being rejected. I, and long story short, one of my best buds, nine months after my ex-girlfriend broke up with me, essentially said, hey, I'm gonna date her. In, in, in a short amount of time, they got engaged, they got married, and it was... Oh, wow, yeah, okay. And, and, but that was like, look, you know, forced to move on. Going through that, I was like, oh man, I'm losing two really good friends at the same time. Like, it broke my heart. That was, that was, that was so tough. There are definitely times when, I've, when I still feel uh, maybe a little insecure. That enters into the equation of who I am today because some people, they just get to see this. You know what I mean? There's, thank you. Oh, thank you so oh, it's much. It's delicious. 
back to the ladies' room. I will be it's back, right there. I promise. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm in the middle of my date right now. <laughs> it's going well. I feel bad because he's he's very open and he's really great and he's super engaging, but I, I'm really bad at like opening up, I think. I am typically very resistant to opening up to people. I feel like something that I think you earn with someone. It's kind of like a trust thing to me. I think I'm just not, not used to it. <laughs> yeah. It's just, I'm bad at putting my heart out to people, or I, which isn't fair to him. Let me help you. There you are. Hello. Thank Hello. you. Hello. Sorry about that. And now you're going to work on the drumstick. You still haven't touched your bread yet. I can't do it because it's just the carbs. No. Is it the health thing? Because no, we, it's I mean, we ordered the fried chicken, so. We did. A lot of people, they don't know the story of like how much weight I lost. So I was a chubby kid like my whole life. It's the same Nelson, right? But it's um, it's interesting. 2.0. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Same person, but I think it's really great that you're very like, obviously very like confident and open about it. Cause I feel like I can be more private. I think that's a huge weakness of mine is I don't think I like being vulnerable. I feel like I purposely try to avoid it. Thanks for being honest about that. That's not easy. I was almost to the point of being overwhelmed by the number of connections that we had. Thank you very much. You Thank you so ready. much. Absolutely. Uh, I got this, by the way. No, 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 uh, no, no. Thank you very much. <laughs> of course, no. <laughs> I think it went well. I feel bad that I was a little more reserved on my end. Oh, why would you be bad, feel bad about that? Oh, I, I think I'm not used to being with someone who's like so open and honest. And I don't know, it's kind of like uh, refreshing to just kind of dive into it. Is there a second date? I would, I would love a second date. Absolutely. Let's I do it. I have a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> so do you want to go get dessert maybe? Let's definitely do that. Let's do it. Let me grab the door for you. What it sounds like, she definitely makes the better miso black odd. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, my pleasure. When I have it one day, which I hope, um, then I can, you know, I could really, I could see if I could match that, so. 